When it comes to data analytics, we often talk about programming languages as one of the central tenets, the central points of what you need to know to be able to do the job. But what about if you don't know how to code and you don't want to learn how to code? Can you still be a data analyst? As you've probably already guessed from the title of the video, yes, there are absolutely jobs that are no-code data analysts, even no-code data scientist roles. Most people tend to think of analytics as a programmer adjacent type role. That is, when we think of analytics and the skills that you need, we immediately jump to talking about programming languages like Python, R, SQL, SAS, or one of the dozens of other more niche options that you could possibly learn. I think we tend to gravitate this direction because those are the flashier areas to talk about. They seem like they require a lot more skill, a lot more knowledge to be able to work with. So it makes a data analyst or data scientist role seem really special, unique, more techy than some of the other no-code options. When you know how to code, you have a lot of flexibility in how you perform analytics. You can make things really ad hoc, really customized to what you're doing. There's been this really interesting growing movement lately towards no-code data analyst and data scientist roles. The goals of the job are still the same. You're still analyzing data, you're still looking for insights, doing forecasts, analyzing trends, but you're going about it a slightly different way. You're using tools that are built to have a more interactive user interface versus actually going in and hard coding, programming in the work that you're doing using one of these languages. Part of what's making no-code analytics possible is this fast rise in a variety of options for more drag and drop analytics good GUI interfaces for the user. These aren't completely new and there's versions of them that have been around for ages. In my recent video on how I learned data analytics if I was starting over, one of the first things I looked at is making a decision on whether I would go a code or a no-code route to become an analyst. The two major no-code routes would be learning Tableau or Power BI. There are dozens, if not hundreds, of other no-code platforms out there, but Tableau and Power BI are probably going to be your most mainstream choices. Most people tend to think of Tableau and Power BI as no-code platforms, and I just reference them like that, but they're really more like code-optional platforms. You can greatly enhance the options, the capabilities within both of those platforms by learning how to program. You can interact with them using Python, SQL, and a variety of other language options, which give you more flexibility in the analysis you build and perform within the application. But even if you don't know how to code, you can still do a lot in those platforms. Things that you wouldn't be able to do if you were just working in Python or working in R trying to do analysis without knowing how to code. You would not be able to even get started in either of those options if you didn't know some of the language. There are many, many data analyst jobs, even data scientist jobs out there that are only looking for knowledge of Tableau or Power BI in terms of that code or analysis tool platform. These jobs don't necessarily require any programming knowledge. If you only learn Tableau or Power BI as a tool and you don't know how to code, you'll still be able to do the vast majority of work that any analytics job is going to require. Because at the heart of them, it's really more about the math, the analysis, than it is the method of getting there. Tableau, Power BI, Python, SQL, R, these are all a means to an end. Still, at the end of the day, the goal isn't to know how to use them, it's to be able to produce results with them. So yes, you do have to know how to use them to be able to get results, but the focus isn't on how technical your knowledge is for the sake of knowledge. It's how do you use these to analyze, to gain insights, to learn something about the business that can help things change, help the business keep progressing forward. The major limitation right now in these tools is usually around forecasting. 
you can do forecasting in no code platforms. There's no doubt about that. And in some cases you can do fairly customized forecasting, but the capabilities here are not as flexible as if you're using a programming language, if you're coding yourself to do the forecasting, you don't have as much flexibility. You don't have as much customization. So if you're working with a fairly standard, a stable environment, a stable business that is the same year over year, maybe it has some cyclical trends that are normal, then those platforms may be perfectly fine. But if you want to experiment with looking at things in different ways, if you want to apply a more nuanced or more complex analysis than what they have built in, you're probably going to need to know how to code or you're going to need to turn to a different tool. There may be another tool out there that does that same thing you want. It's just going to mean using multiple tools where if you had that knowledge of a programming language, you might be able to do it all. You could be able to do it all within that same environment without having to move back and forth tool to tool, depending on what exactly you're trying to analyze, what you're trying to learn. Because data analytics and data science is such a broad field with many different niche areas, there are definitely going to be other skills, other techniques, things that you're not going to be able to do in a no code environment, or at least not quite as easily. However, these jobs aren't one size fits all. There are different niches, different specialties that fit different skill sets and have different objectives out of them. So while we talk about the field in general and we have some concepts in general of what a data analyst or data scientist does, just not knowing how to code doesn't preclude you from getting into one of these jobs. It doesn't prevent you from becoming a data analyst, becoming a data scientist even. I would say data scientist is going to be trickier to find no code options, but it is doable, it is possible. There are some of these roles out there. Thanks for watching today. I hope you found this video valuable. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next week.